He had her at Bueller. Bueller. Right? Yeah. I think he had her at Dollar. Dollar. Right. right. When Ben signs money. <laughs> Morning, Jew. It's uh, good morning. How are you? It's, I'm good. It's a lovely day. It's Canada Day. Happy day, oh, yeah. Canadians, fellow Canadians. Happy Canada Day, non fellow Canadians. I'm Katie Halper in New York City. I'm Heather Gold in Oakland, and this is Morning Jew. We look at the headlines and other issues and ask, of course, the important news issue of all time is it good for the Jews? Good for the Jews. I celebrate. Question no one else is willing to ask. So I celebrated Canada Day by having the Canadian comfort food, which I I was showing you yesterday. I had poutine. I had smoked poutine. meat. I had smoked meat and poutine, which someone is making in here, which is a Montreal specialty. Both of those things. I don't know how we lived in the desert all those generations. With Matzah, I do not care for. I have to be honest. How do we do it without a piece of pastrami? That's the question. That's the real Jewish some mystery. Sh- yeah, and time. some schmear. Neither. We had neither. Yet we did survived. We have, did we have chocolate covered matzah? We had none of that. We didn't have chopped liver. That we is a travesty. What were we, chopped liver? We, we, we hadn't evolved yet to have chopped liver. To we didn't even it. have that expression. No. That's how deprived we were. What am I? A lentil? What am I? Unleavened bread I, that I don't have time to wait to rise? What were we passive aggressive about? I'll sit in the dark. We all sit in the dark. We don't have lights yet. Right. That's what was anyone fetching right. over? Don't worry about me. I'll just sit here in the dark with everyone else in the entire world because it's nighttime. Until the Hanukkah story, then we had light. That's it. Then finally, finally they could say, oh, don't worry about me. I'll just sit here in the dark. That's the true Hanukkah gift. Let's get to the headlines this week. First of all, we've just uncovered a very interesting new story. We bring to you important things no one wants to ask. Like, why do all these old Jewish men get caught paying for sexy things with young women who don't want them. And why are they publicly so racist yet so obsessed with trying to stop someone who is what's, not their race? What's what, up with that? Okay, what is up with that? So First, let's we're start talking, with the specifics. Yeah, we're talking Ben Stein. Walk us through here. Ben Stein is a pundit nowadays. He's been a game show host. He used to have a show called Win Ben Stein's Money. And he's basically a walking conservative. He does commercials for various things. And he worked for Nixon. And he's, uh, you know, one of those Jews who's very rich and right wing. At the same time, wasn't Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which is a weird combination. It's not part of the typical kind of uh, right wing Jewish trajectory. Yeah. He's anti-evolution. How many Jews are that? He's That's committed. That's a weird thing for Jews. Well, you and know, it gets you he says it's an inspiration for the Holocaust. Darwinism. Very. He's a big traditional family values conservative. Like, I think he's against choice. He picked up the phone and called the National Enquirer. Why do you do that? Because you're in trouble. So Ben Stein right. has a girlfriend, like a Donald Sterling, uh, in San Francisco he's become obsessed with. So much so he wrote about her in his American Spectator column. He said she's a wild mixture of ethnicities and has a figure that is close to unbelievable. I'm like a teenager. I get mad crushes and they last about 10 minutes. She's a divorcee. She has a four and a half year old daughter. She wants to be a movie star. She wants me to help her with her bills. Just today, she sent me a series of photos of herself having root canal surgery and then a screenshot of her bill. So far, two thousand three hundred dollars. Is that a fetish some people have, like we like have dental very... photos? It's the root canal money shot. Oh yeah. <laughs> he and his wife had discussed bringing this San Francisco girl to L.A. to stay in a Beverly Hills hotel to have you know a little. A little savior, a little... Who's that guy in the New York Times who's always living out his I'm rescuing you fantasy? Kristoff? Oh, uh, Nicholas little, Kristoff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rescue me a wild ethnicity mix and put her up in a Beverly Hills hotel. He calls up the National Enquirer and says, at my age, I, I didn't have sex with her. At my age, I don't know that I don't, I don't know that that's possible. Uh, says he gave her money and says, oh, I give people money all the time as long as the government doesn't have to do it. Right, right. As long as it's not part. out of obligation. That last part is right. me. Uh, as I long as it has nothing to do with justice, it's I'm only charity. Of, he admits that he asked her to be his girlfriend and says, I ask a lot of girls. Uh, and as for my wife, oh, we've been together since 1966. She knows everything. This is not a scandal. Trust me. He's basically admitting he has an open relationship, Mr. Right. Traditional The values. scandal is that it's not a scandal. He wants to right. criticize the crazy Imagine left for their that. open sexuality. But he right. wants to be able to own a special pet right. with a root canal. Yeah. 
Go you know, it's good interesting. Good for the Jews, not good for the do Jews. Pe- it depends. Do people think that it's he's a baller because of this? Is he cool because he has an open relationship? In that case, it's good for the Jews because he's very Jewish facey. If people think he's a sleazeball and a hypocrite, which I do, it's not good. I'm going to say it's so, bad for the Jews because I'm already asking this question about why are, do we see this with all these older right. Jewish men. And I want to say that while there are all these scandals, because probably Jews can't help but talk a lot, and that's why they're getting found out. That's so what my mom said. That's sending, what my mom said. It's not that they do it more. They just have bigger right. maps. They're just like, I sent photos and documented right. everything. I do think that that's probably not unique to Jews, that old men want to feel like they own somebody and they have some right. weird hypocrisy between publicly right. supporting sexual repression but privately wanting it for themselves. Another person who Ben Stein in his homophobic way oddly enough defended was Larry Craig, who was the Illinois senator who was busted in a bathroom for toe tapping, trying to have sex with men. Toe-tapping. He was head of these What are you in for? Toe tapping. Toe tapping. In the third degree. Um, <laughs> he had a great rating from anti-LGBT group, very tr- pro-traditional marriage. Turns out he's gay. It's actually very sad. There's this, sort of, there's this sort of love of one public rule, but, but the idea right. that if you have enough money, you should be able to buy your own exemption from any rule, which right. is the kind of ho- Hobby Lobby segue we're going to go to. Hobby Lobby, which we covered first. Habala, habala. Uh, the opinion came out. The Supreme Court has said, yes, if you have a closely held business, which all my lawyer professor friends are trying to figure out today, like what the hell does that mean? Nobody knows. Uh, Then you're exempt. You can exempt yourself from Obamacare. One rule for everybody except you because you have a special Christian belief that says you're killing babies with your... Even though you used to cover it. The Jewish highlight of this opinion, the one part that is good for the Jews, is our beloved... Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg's dissent. RBG. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, in case you don't know, from Brooklyn. She is the Streisand of the Supreme Court, Ruth Bader she Ginsburg. She is. She's a Barbara, right. She was so good. She was confirmed 100%. Everybody voted for her because she's the greatest Supreme Court justice in the history of Supreme Court justices. She's a Jewish grandmother doily for a necklace, if you can believe Yeah, it's very it. cute. This is somebody who was denied jobs being first in her class, both at Harvard and Columbia Law School, moved for her husband. Craziness. Both for being a woman and for being a Jew. That's when she came. When she came up. Then and we should came. add that this decision was Jew versus Catholic, except Sotomayor, but Sotomayor being a New Yorican is an honorary Jew. So it was a, a Jewish versus a Catholic lady. decision. Right, so all the people who voted for Hobby Lobby had something in common, and it was not a vagina. This is the reason Jews need to know this is a horrific decision for the Jews. Approving some religious claims while deeming others unworthy of accommodation could easily be perceived as favoring one religion over another, the very risk the Constitution's Establishment Clause was designed to preclude. Today, it's uh, some kind of Christian reproductive thing. Tomorrow, are Jews going to get our special time? Good luck. B&H. I say no. We talked about this B and H. Maybe B and H doesn't hire women, and uh, every store could turn into a B and H, which wouldn't be so bad. It's a lovely atmosphere. They but I wouldn't want to buy my underwear from a you know a bunch of uh, Hasidic men. The big story this week is that uh, a study was released showing that Facebook has manipulated right. uh, the feeds of six hundred to seven hundred thousand people basically changing how positive or negative their feeds were to see how they responded emotionally without informing anybody that they were part of a study. But I've been pretty cynical about Facebook for a long time. Surprised? No. Disappointed? Yes. I'm not even disappointed because I just know this is who they are. I even had an interaction with Mark Andreessen, the creator of the Netscape browser, on Twitter about it. He's an investor in Facebook and uh, a pretty big venture capitalist in the industry. And he believes, like, and I'm, this is pretty much the defense Facebook's putting up there, that, um, you know, that everybody in any advertisement or any piece of media or, frankly, any person talking to you is manipulating your emotions. And so this is just what people do. How I can't can you- believe you would manipulate me into thinking that you feel that way. I know you've thought this out, and I really, I'm resisting it. It's unfair, this level of complicated manipulation it's yeah you yeah i you just totally manipulated me it's not when you use the word manipulate it's super manipulating right when you when you use the word when you use manipulate that (laughs) manipulates me the phrase excuse me i practiced that laugh oh good to manipulate you Oh, fuck, you got me. <laughs> the sad thing is the mani- big manipulator, Facebook, is owned by a Jew, Mark Zuckerberg. Right. 
Oh, great. And run by another Jew, Sheryl Sandberg, leaning in, getting great. ready for leaning her, in. her political schlepping, run. Schlepping in. You know what? You want to resist? If you want to resist leaning in, if you want to resist Facebook, then here's how you're going to do it. You're going to schlep out. We're starting a hashtag now for Morning Jew. We're starting a movement. Schlep out. Oi, so that can't be good for us. Mark Zuckerberg? No, we're Mark controlling Zuckerberg. people's minds. Do we really need that? We can't help it. It just we just have so much power. And I usually know. usually Ben's died, does it? Through his voice. Yeah, that's what he's doing. It's he's like um, mesmerizing you. It's like mentoring candidate. It's right. You're listening. You're getting sleepy. You're getting sleepy. This girl wants to come over, be my girlfriend, have a root canal. You're getting sleepy. And Bueller, Bueller, root canal, root canal. <laughs> good to see you. Good to see you. I you will see looking, you next week. You are looking good. Thank you. You too. Happy Canada Day, everyone. We'll see you soon. Shalom. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs>